Snowberry bush growing in the middle of the thing. That can't be healthy. Or if it's healthy, it's at least not convenient for walking over. But I suppose that's the point of having it all garrisoned up and whatnot. That was probably not the right use of that word, but eh, whatever. I don't care. It does smell like... Honestly, it smells like the reach down here. Lots and lots of juniper. Give up while you still can. <laughs> and there they go. You're a disgrace to your own you know, I kind of don't want to be in here if the sun sets. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll uh, check in with these run, make sure everyone's got here all right, and uh, leave. I wonder if Hegatha's around. Don't know what she smells like, otherwise I'd try to figure that out, but... Yeah, well. Hey, you. Vampires. Get out the way of the charging deer. Oh, this seems bad, doesn't it? All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now, what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. Uh, so welcome to Fort Dawnguard. Okay. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. For me? Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? Ah. Do I know any vampire? Uh, actually, I do. I must have some bellows going over there or something, because that's strange. Uh, how exactly do I get up there? I'm gonna try taking these stairs. What? Eh, I'm going to ignore it for now. Do these stairs? They do lead to where I think they're lead leading to. Alright, what's this about a vampire? This vampire showed up while you were away. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. 
Your hospitality really knows no bounds, does it, Isran? Uh, who are you exactly? Dominique Gold, Lady of the Redwater Clan. A friend. Ah. Oh. Wait. Miss Gold, you're the Archmage's... Uh, actually, I'm not quite clear on what your relation is. Friend. Ally. Business partner. I've come to tell you, and Isran, that you don't need to worry about the prophecy anymore. Harkin has been duly slain, and Clan Volgahar is under new management. So, the beast is destroyed. I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. Well, among other things, it means you have friends on the other side, dear boy. Boy! Why, yes. I am old enough to be your great-grandmother's great-grandmother. And then some. Is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Uh... Oh, there's more. If you'd calm down and let me finish. We're fighting a war against your kind. No, you're not. Not anymore. In fact, rumor has it the new lord of Clan Volgahar is planning on offering you something like a peace treaty. Set my hatred aside. Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. Oh, that's cute. No, nobody's asking you to set your hatred aside. In fact, chances are he may ask you to team up with him and put that hatred to good use. None of this makes any sense. Not to you, perhaps. But consider, if you will, that having an elite force of specially trained vampire hunters to call upon might be very advantageous indeed for a vampire lord who wants to keep his domain in check. It would work for you as well. Between the two of us, Lord Volkahar and I know all the little nooks and crannies the dissenters and dangers to society like to hide in. I'm working on a plan for him such that, in the event of a vampire disobeying our laws, one of ours goes in to try to talk some sense into them, help them get back on their feet and out of trouble. If they don't comply, that's when you come in. Killing vampires is what you're good at, after all. What do you think? I'm supposed to just throw myself in front of you all and offer protection, am I? I ought to cut you to pieces right where you stand. Isran. None of this makes any sense. What does she have to do with this? She's the only level head in this whole fortress. More good as a friend. One I care for. Someone I'd hate to see get caught up in your stubbornness, Isran. Her grandmother is the harbinger of the companions, and they're really your only other ally in this fight since the House of Vigilance burned to the ground. Unless you'd like to consider my proposition. Do you actually believe any of that? Me? Well, actually, I? My grand's just about as tough and stubborn as you are, and... Well, I know it sounds awfully mal-shocked, but I think Miss Gold and the Lord of Clan Volkahar are on our side. Why else would she risk her life to come here? Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. I can't afford to make any assumptions. That's how people wind up dead. Aye, but look at it this way. We can all either bumble around in the dark looking for the wee bastards, or we could actually have someone giving us pointers. This all depends on whether or not this Lord of Olgahar is serious, but assuming it all works out, this arrangement might actually long outlast you at least, if not all of us here. The Dawn Guard would be relevant again. Isn't that what you want? None of this feels right. We need to know more. Yes, you do. I admire your caution. I'll admit I'm just here to test the waters for my associate. He's an unquenchable optimist, you see. I want to make sure he's not going to have to fight back if he comes here himself. Trust me, you really don't want that to happen. But think on the idea. He took care of the greatest threat mortal kind has faced from our ilk since the Second Era. I'm willing to bet he's stirred up both interest and resentment among the neighboring clans. Including yours. Mine is too small to matter in the grand scheme of things. But there are orders in Cyrodiil, High Rock, and Morrowind that would love to take advantage of this upheaval. In a way, Isran, the Dawn Guard is surrounded. And you're just offering to help us out of the goodness of your hearts? It's a purely selfish venture, really. We like our territories here. We also like not dying. 
I'll admit I don't know that I can trust you. Believe me, the feeling is mutual. Fine. Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. You have my thanks, Isran. This is much more than I expected. I'll be out of your hair as soon as it's safe for me to leave. And at some point in the future, my associate and I will stop by again to agree on terms. I'm sure we can arrange something that benefits both of our causes. And since Mordgood here is important to all of us, perhaps she can act as a go-between. Just in case you're worried one of us is going to get a little hungry. <laughs> Toodles, my boy. And good luck, Mordgood. You better know what you're doing. Alright. Well, the sum's not up yet, but what do you say we get going? Might as well get this out of the way before it gets too much colder. Hi. How are things up at the college, by the way? Oh, there. They're just fine. I'm learning a lot. Hi. It's good to hear. Oop. Yes. Nope, not you. Should we go get one of the dogs? I don't think we'll need it. That's fair. Hey, buddy. Oh, right, let's go. What are we doing? Tracking down a blueprint for Soreen. Right. Vulvine! Whoa! Right Alright! I don't think so! <sighs> you know, I'm beginning to wonder... You see, I haven't... had too much trouble with vampires. How about you? Eh... A little bit. We've, we've had some, uh, some fun with vampires. Vampires, wolves, all, coin, all, all kinds of things. Ghosts. We've had an eventful few weeks. Something like that. I'm beginning to wonder if, perhaps, the vampires are specifically targeting people with that armor. And that's why the rest of us don't seem to notice. That could be. Actually, that kind of makes sense. No. Hold up, where is Volvang? Ooh, how are we going to get there from here? I suppose we could go through the hills, but... Eek. I think I'd rather go up by way of Iverstead, eh? That sounds... I'm not sure if that would be the fastest way, but it would be the most... likely to get us in trouble. Hey, forgot that this doesn't actually go anywhere. Not spent that much time around the Riften, surprisingly. Neither have I. Although I do quite like it down here. It's warmer than Winterhold for sure. The Archmage does not seem to notice that You're right. Hey, I wonder if this guy's alright. Uh, 
Hello? You want something from me? Nope, just bothering if you're doing all right. Uh, have a good one. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Always good talking to you, friend. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You stopped to help a beggar. Well, I mean, he was looking kind of ratty around the edges. I wanted to make sure he was, you know, okay. Oh. Shouldn't have gotten up so early. Again, I don't sleep much. What are you muttering about? Eh, nothing. Just, you know, admiring the, uh... Oh, God, it's the beauty of the reach. Oh. It's nice and... Nice. What were you saying about the Archmage? Oh, he doesn't seem to notice that most of the time the college is absolutely freezing. I'm not sure how he does it. Uh, cold tolerance? Must be. He's an Imperial, though. It's the kind of thing that I would expect from a Nord. Eh, fair enough. Have you ever met him? The Archmage. Eh. Uh, kind of once in passing. If I've heard about him though. Kind of a... Kind of a weird looking dude with the stuff on his face. Yes. What is going on over there? That would be... A dead giant. Hold on. Come here. You got anything? A important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. All right, I will leave you to your business then. I think that's the first Bosmer courier that I've that I've noticed. How could you tell? Well, he's not an alt. Where obviously he's not tall enough. <laughs> no offense, but you're kind of. Statuesque, perhaps, is the word. Careful. Yeah, you look like you've got it. Or had it. I do wonder how you've managed to make your way alone so far, being as distracted as you tend to be. I've got a thick skull. And now, I've got a rather formidable Altmer watching my back. Shame about the Khajiit. Hmm. Mm hmm. Where'd the troll? Go. I don't know. Odd. You need. All right. Let's just. Uh, let's just keep moving. Hi. Besides, spend a lot of time with my gran last a uh, couple of weeks or so. Hopping back and forth between Whiterun and, and uh, Fort Dongard. Your grandmother is in Whiterun. Hi. Uh, she's actually a... Uh, actually a Nord. I think we've talked about this. Have we? We might have. I don't remember any specifics though. Eh. Well, she's rather a specific Nord. 
the skull, actually. You don't seem terribly concerned by that wolf. Should I be? Oh! I'm not sure, actually. Pardon me for thinking this, but it looked like that wolf just came to your aid. Eh! Probably. What's this? Take that shiny gem, though. Alright, let's see. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. As instructed. Oh. What does it say? Well... Uh... Someone? How's it out for you? For me? Hi. That was a little bit strange. I'm not sure why the Dark Brotherhood would be after you. Or, well, anyone really. Either of us. Well, I can imagine why they'd be after me. Oh? Think about it. An ultimate mage wandering around Skyrim. Careful of that wolf. Interesting. I I don't know. Heh, <laughs> maybe I just don't look like enough of a morsel for them to worry about, the wolves. I suppose so. <sighs> but yes, an ultimate mage wandering around Skyrim, hanging around the College of Winterhold. Something tells me that the local Nords aren't exactly pleased with me being here. I probably. Hello! Double tap, just in case. Not gonna bother with it. Had enough spider stew back home. Spider stew? Mm-hmm. There are a few places where... Like, the most meat that you could get was spider and guar. It was a little bit... Uh, shall we say... I don't know, but it was not the best time ever. Hello. Statue of Xerxes. Hey. You, uh, you a big fan of Xerxes? Not particularly. I don't really have much care either way. Aedra or Daedra. Although I'd prefer not to tangle with the Daedra. Why are we even going to a wedding at this far-flung end of the Empire, anyway? I told you, it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely well-connected <laughs> merchant with the East Empire Company. Well, they're certainly... ...out of their depth. Vittoria Vici was killed months ago. I... every once in a while... ...I happen upon people who are... Head to her wedding. Eh. Uh, I will just go this way. Or. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go by way of Iverstead. Why not? Because, you know, being a big deal and all. I guess some people are just. Out the loop. Suppose so. Skyrim is a fascinating place. Very strange. You sound a little bored by the whole thing. 
<laughs> Was it that obvious? It's certainly not what I'm used to, that's for sure. So you came here to be a better mage and join the Dawn Guard, right? Correct. And that's it. More or less, yes. Alright, that makes sense. So... Who is this, I wonder? Mercenaries, probably. Yep. Running out to deal with trouble, seems us. What were you gonna ask? Oh, I was just wondering about that bow that you found. Do you remember the cave with the werewolves? Aye. Oh, the bow! Aye, uh... Have you... Trouble? Eh, uh, nope. Not so far. Have you spoken to your friend again? The Wood Elf. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shouted him apart. I know you're Find that hard to believe. But for now, on the under our roof, we need to get kitchen a little more. Yes, mother. Eh, no, I haven't actually. I'm not sure where they wandered off to. Honestly, I haven't heard from Theril in months. I'm starting to wonder what happened to her. What was she like, this Theril? She was... a bit intense. Very quiet. Had a good head on her shoulders, though. I just hope she's okay. Excuse me, goat. <laughs> hmm. I never thought about asking the Archmage what happened to that journal of yours. Ah. Uh, not really. I suppose I should, huh? I mean, you could. Have I just gone completely the wrong direction? I have, haven't I? No, I can get there from here. Alright, sweet. Whew. Hey, why don't you ask him? Why don't I ask him what? About the journal. You've got the... the other copy. Does yours have all the weird pages in it? It does. The only problem, of course, with asking the Archmage about it is that you have to track him down first. What do you mean? Well, he doesn't exactly spend a lot of time at the college. I don't think I've seen him for the entirety of Frostfall. Save for once, but that was in roughly the middle of it. I heard he's working on some... Nordic ruin out near Solitude. That sounds about right. He's an archaeologist as well as an archmage. You seem to know him better than I expected. Well, see that is funny. Th th oh, right. <laughs> Never mind. What was that about? That was. My brain designed to have a hissy fit. And, uh... Yeah, no, it was just something I heard about him. The Archmage. Like I said, we've only ever met in passing. Don't know a whole lot about him. But... Suffice to say, him being out 
in the middle of absolutely nowhere, working on who knows what. Sounds perfectly on brand for him. I do hope we're talking about the same Archmage. I have on good authority that Savos Aaron was the Archmage before this new one. Ardinius Welk. That's the one! Oh, good. Hi, this looks like trouble. Am I going the right way? Uh. Well, technically it could be. Why not? Let's just do it. I don't think this is a good idea. Aye, me neither. Oop! That was a big miss. There we go. This, uh, be careful. It looks a lot wider than it is. Hello. That's a nice bow. Dwarven. Pick it up for Serene, but oh good gods. Yeah, she strikes me as more of a crossbow person than a normal bow person. Oh for Vex's sake. There we go. Never gonna get to Valheim at this rate. But we've got healing potions, so that's good. Yes, yeah, Skyrim is full of strange and wonderful people, is it not? Well, full of ooh, I saw that. Strange people, absolutely. Let's see what's up here. Hang on. Hello? Oh, here we go again. Oh, wait. Lucky lockpick. Lucky lockpick. I'll do. Eh, nah. How did you even see that up there? I got distracted. The only benefit of getting distracted by absolutely everything. Indeed. So you've spent more time around rifting than I have. I? Have you ever heard of a big blue cat? What, Inigo? Yes, I believe that was his name. I... I've heard of him. Probably met him in passing and forgot. How does one forget meeting a blue Khajiit? Eh. Talent? For forgetting things. I don't exactly have the most steady brain on my shoulders. Or in my skull, rather. Hello, bear. You stay over there, Mr. Bear. We got. Oh. Sorry about that. It's fine, I didn't care to warn you. I thought I had it under control. Eh. Well, good thing I turned around anyway. Probably could have handled it, but. Don't want any more scars on your face than you've already got, eh? Thank you. Oh. Sorry, was that rude of me? I suppose it depends on where you're from. Right. Sorry. Can I ask where you got them? The scars? Oh. 
Ah, uh, just... Accidents with shock magic, shall we say. Gotcha. I don't think I've ever met a mage who wasn't scared by their own magic somehow. Physically or mentally. That sounds about right. This is Valheim. Hello. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Likely story. How about you let us through and we don't dispatch with you? You know, now that I think of it, that sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. Ah. Uh Hegatha, you realize we have to go in there, right? Oh yes, but there's nothing that says we can't get them off guard first. You're a terrifying lady, you know that? I do try. Get on your way. Oh, excuse me. So you do know how to swing that thing? I do indeed. I was not lying when I told Isra on that. Just haven't had much motive to put it to use yet. Well, we're about to. Maybe. Someone there. Maybe. <laughs> There's one up on the... I see him. Nice shot. Ah, uh, yep. I heard you. Have your head. Ooh. And I'll have your... Whoop! You your platform. Oh, hello! <laughs> careful! Why did I just tell your friend there, careful? Oh, this is not good. Okay. Let's heal up before something gets hairy. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry, trust me. Ooh. No, you wouldn't. You're right. Yeah, more or less. A little banged up. Nothing major. Ooh. You look a little bit pale, are you sure? I... Yeah, I'm fine. Might have gotten a few good licks in, but... Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Now. Just needed a bit to, uh... time it is. Not really. Not with this fog overhead. Dwarven Hall. There's the crossbow schematic and a big old shield. What does that even... Dwarven Hall? Hands off the Dwarven Hole until we know who wants this stuff. Huh. Alright. Well, who needs a buyer? We've got Dungard. <laughs> nope, nothing over here. I swear, you're... Acrobatics make me nervous for your health. Okay, if my hands could stop shaking, we'd create great shape. There we are. Ooh. Interesting. I could have that just in case. Whew. Ah, uh, alright. 
yeah, let's, uh... Let's get going before it gets too much later. Unless we need to stop off in, uh... In White Room for whatever reason. No, I'm pretty well stocked. I did in fact stop off in Riften before I returned to Fort Dawnguard. Snooped around, met a redhead named Brynjolf. That was interesting. <laughs> I think I've met Brynjolf. A little bit in your face, eh? Just a bit. He seemed to think that I would have a... A knack for, shall we say... Underhanded dealings. Yeah, he thought I'd make a pretty good thief too when I met him. I don't think so. I don't think I've got the focus for that kind of thing. I don't know if being a thief requires focus, but... <laughs> if it does, I don't got it. I don't have it. And I just got this armor and it's covered in blood. Great. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to wash out. Indeed. Oh right. Uh there we are. Do you have any plans for the Warriors Festival coming up? The No. Not particularly. We don't really celebrate that where I'm from. Right. I suppose the uh there's a uh different set of celebrations in Somerset, huh? Yes. That is not among them. Hey! Oh! Shirtless orc. With... Kills. I suggest we leave him alone and move on. Something tells me he's... Sir, what are you wearing? Don't answer that. The wolves rode upon a great Yorvasker to meet the sons of Iskra Moor. They said, what are you but a harbinger to leave us hopeless and forlorn? The wolf bore its fangs and spread its claws and tore at its own hide. Drink the blood and become my sons or by dawn you'll never survive. And so the pack was born again as the wolves of Yorvasker to rule in life and serve in death as the moonlight bound unto. And so the pack was born again as the wolves of Yorvasker to rule in life and serve in death as the moonlight bound hunter. What do you think? I learned it up in solitude from an old book, so it might not be quite accurate. I like it. It's a good scary story, if nothing else. Gran? Really? What? <laughs> I was trying to learn this new song, Tale of the Tongues, but I don't know. The dragons, as you might have noticed, aren't gone. It's a wishful song, then. Besides, they used to be before all that Alduin business. True. <laughs> but it's the Warriors Festival, not the Day of the Dragonborn. Have either of you got stories that would make for good songs? 
Me? Nah. I've not been adventuring long enough, but Gran here was a regular old rat catcher when she was our age, if the story's true. Rat catcher? Hi. Like, you know, uh, someone you send in to deal with a skeever problem, but more adventurous. Ah. I wouldn't call myself that. I was a hunter, much to my mother's chagrin. Storn and I used to get in all kinds of trouble when we were kids, but nothing I'd call worthy of song. You and Gramps went on all kinds of adventures, though. Yes, but... <sighs> tried to pick one out of the lot. We weren't exactly legendary warriors. Only because your legend hasn't been written yet. If Ragnar the Red can have a whole ballad written about him, so can you. You're not seriously... Come on, Gran. It's the Warriors Festival. Alright. Let me tell you about the time Loftier and I trekked through a little place called Ben Congarica. It was a foggy day, as days on Solstein tend to be. We were coming up the path from the village, following a trail of dead reavers when a reekling started throwing spears through the mist. Between my halberd and Loftier's flames, we managed to clear out the entrance. We found ourselves in this old, mostly frozen, reeking infested barrow. Great pillars have collapsed from the ceiling, ice and snow everywhere, and somehow they managed to get the boar inside the cave. We took care of them and followed the trail of random junk into a glacier, evading traps along the way until we got to this maze of walkways and pillars stretching across the inside of a cave, lined with bones and skulls and cookware as they tend to do. I admit I got turned around a few times. Loftier distracted them with fire blasts while I dealt the finishing blows. We made quite a team back in the day. I remember one room. We walked in, I thought it was empty, and the little buggers popped out of barrels. I was honestly too stunned to do much, but Loftier took care of them. And then there was the puzzle room. You know those barrows that had the animal symbols on the stones? This place had one of them, but one of the symbols was missing. We must have spent a full hour dodging reeklings, looking for that last symbol, which of course they had stowed away amongst their barrels and tents, and covered in blue paint if I remember correctly. We got through, found one of those dragon walls, and... Lopter said he could hear something. Oh, was he... Dragonborn? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the wall he was hearing. We went past it and through this dugout tunnel was... A strange statue. Strangest I've ever seen in my life. I remember stopping in the hallway and feeling every hair on my arm stand on end. It was in a room that was even stranger, nothing like any Imperial Dunmer or Nordic building. There, sitting on the pedestal, was a book, and I could feel what I think Lopter was hearing. Some kind of deep, ungodly sound, like Nern itself was rejecting the book's presence. Oh, gods. And... Gramps picked it up, didn't he? No. Not when I was with him, anyway. But I'm sure he remembered where it was. I know I couldn't shake it out of my head. At the time, we both agreed just to get out as fast as we could. We told Storn and the Shaman about it when we got back to the village. 
And that's the story of how Pengong Rika gave me nightmares for a decade. It sounds like... Wait, Grams could hear the book? I don't know. He heard something for certain. So, Kinoa, gonna make it into a song? I... well... that's... Maybe it's best if I don't. Best to leave some secrets secret, huh? Hi, 